Hello, everybody, and welcome to Steelwing 33 Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I'm Steelwing 33, and hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome to welcome to this game. So, uh, The Binding of Isaac, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a top-down twin-stick roguelike, um, which basically means I control it with both the sticks of like a controller or on the mouse and keyboard, it's WSD and the arrow keys. Um, and a roguelike means if I die, I die forever. There are items, you normally get stronger incrementally as the thing goes on, I guess. Um, but Afterbirth, uh, just came out. It came out a couple days ago. And, uh, I never really got into the Binding of Isaac in the other iterations. I played them, and I watch a lot of people, like, a lot of other YouTuber people, uh, play it. And I know a lot about the game and things like that. But I never really got into playing it myself. So I thought with Afterbirth coming out, this might be a good time for me to give it a crack, you know, uh, play it a little bit more often than I have. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, I have played a little bit. I did a run earlier today as Lilith, this character. I got her by randoming, which I'm not sure if that's a bug or something, but uh, there you go. So we'll play as Isaac. Uh, Isaac is the default character. I, as you can tell, I don't have any unlocks with him. So I run around with the... Uh, uh, left, I'm playing with a gamepad because it had it on hand and it's quieter than my uh, mouse and keyboard. So uh, I attack with, uh, I can either use the face buttons or I can use the stick. Uh, if I, I think it's right bumper, left bumper, there we go. Okay, so if I hit left bumper, I, uh, I drop a bomb, which I used to open up those pots because I wanted that spirit heart, which is that gray heart up there. And I wanted this card, which is judgment. Uh, how do I, okay. All right, good. All right, just getting my bearings a little bit here. What is this? Little Gertie. A Gert of my own. Alright, cool. Uh, I have no idea what most of these items do, so I'm probably going to gloss over it. This appears to be a familiar, so it'll probably attack people, like if I make it, if I attack or something. There we go. Okay, that's interesting. Go, Gertie, go! Awesome. Alright, actually, he's kind of kind of cool, actually. Uh, so I charge him up by attacking, and then I let go, and he... Flies off. Ooh, the hero font. That's a good card. The hero font. Sorry. Uh, this game's pretty cool. Uh, this game's got a really weird gothic aesthetic. Um, if you can't, if you can't tell by now, uh, it's highly gothic. Uh, lots of satanic and religious Im imagery, things like that. Um, it's got a very dark sense of humor. There's lots of poop. Uh, it's a game about shooting poop with your tears. I play as a naked crying baby. I mean, what else could you really ask for in a video game? Uh, the level of absurdity is great. Larry Jr., huh? Uh, Larry Jr. is not, not a hard boss. I fought him in the run I did earlier today to make sure that my uh, recording setup would work properly. Uh, he's just a worm, uh, from what I can tell. I, I think he's a he's a parody of a boss from Super Meat Boy, if I'm not mistaken, um, who is also a worm. So he shouldn't be too difficult to, to play against. Uh, he's a lot of... The first boss, the first floor is normally not hard. I'm glad I didn't get, like... Uh, there's a boss called The Haunt, who's kind of a pain in the ass. And there's a boss called... Um, I don't remember the other boss's name. Uh, he's a big pile of poop. I found pills. Shit. Okay, that was a... That was a bad little purse thing we got there. Uh... The purse gives you pills when you pick it up, and I think it either increases the likelihood you'll get pills in the future, or um, or that's all it does. I don't actually know. The Burning Basement 2. Um, a lot of these areas are new to the game. So, Afterbirth, the version I'm playing right now, is a, not a revamp, it's like an expansion pack for um, Rebirth, which is the version that came out recently, and Rebirth overhauled the game tremendously from its original version, the normal vanilla Binding of Isaac. Um, and uh, Afterbirth has revamped that revamp into with more stuff, more items, more bad guys. I can kill those fires and walk into the area with all that money. I should probably do that now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, all right. Uh, spectral tears, the reason my face looks all goofy, uh, it makes it so my tears go through objects, so they aren't stopped by, um, rocks, fire, pots, anything. Um, that's kind of nice. Uh, that was a tinted rock. Uh, tinted rocks have items in them. You need a bomb to blow them up, but once they are exploded, uh, they contain items. A lot of the time they contain spirit hearts, uh, other times they contain stuff like, uh, the small rock, which is an item that, uh, 
gives you bonus damage, but I think it slows you down slightly when you pick it up for the first time. Uh, I'm glad they fixed that thing. So it used to be that when you had Spectral Tears, you couldn't shoot fire very easily. And it was kind of a big pain in the ass. Now it appears that that is not the case anymore. Um, which is nice. There are a lot of like little system upgrades that have gone down with Afterbirth that are kind of nice. Stuff like... Uh, uh, there's like stuff like the items. The items I've picked up are on the right over there. You can see them. The top one's the Ouija board. Then it's the the pill, the coin purse. Then it's uh, Gertie, little Gertie, the the guy I keep throwing around all over the place. Uh, bad trip is not a good pill to have. Well, that's not true. The bad trip pill. Um, you saw me take it earlier. It hurts you if um, you don't. If you don't presently have one or half an HP, I don't remember, uh, it hurts you, but if you have only a half HP to one HP left, it heals you for full, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, so it's good to hold on to, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. My face is really freaking me out, actually. <laughs> I forgot how, like, grungy the whole thing is. Monstro. Monstro's a pretty, pretty easy boss. I wish I had, um, I had, like, an active item, so... I've only picked up really passive items so far, stuff like Gertie Jr., um, the coin purse, the Ouija board, stuff that like augments my tears, but that's it. That's all it does. Um, I'm trying to use Gertie Jr. to fight Monstro, because I am afraid of Monstro pretty badly. Uh, and Gertie Jr. also does a ton of damage, which is kind of nice, um, especially if like I can get him to bounce back into the target a couple times. Which is kind of cool. Um, the game's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, from the the round I did earlier today, I played as Lilith, who's the new character for uh, Afterbirth, and she's very, very different than playing as the other characters. So Lilith, her big shtick is that she has a familiar that does the firing for her. Uh, she doesn't actually shoot tears herself, which is interesting. Um, but that's also kind of a pain in the ass because then you have trouble, like you can't control where your tears go because of that which sucks um but that run went really well I, I got all the way down to mom who's the first boss in the game and uh i beat her and fixed and got some progress done on the game as a whole uh it's kind of cool um uh you know i like this game it's uh the music in afterbirth is very good it's uh the music beforehand was really good but now it's even like it's taken to a whole new level, basically. Um, oh, I should have shot the fire. Damn it, I'm really stupid. It, I'm going to be really dumb for, like, a little while here. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit to really get my my bearings in The Binding of Isaac. I, uh, I'm i When I did play this game pretty regularly, I'm, a, I'm pretty awful at uh, roguelikes. If you guys watched, like, my video on the Nuclear Throne, you probably noticed that i'm really terrible isaac's a little bit easier than nuclear throne in my opinion uh nuclear throne's got a lot more a lot more horse shit that can just kill you straight out isaac isaac's a slow death uh and slow deaths leave room for recovery uh but you know it's still they're still both fun games uh the nice part about oh oh get away from me bat you're fat and scary uh all right there we go all right, all right. These weird wall spiders are freaking me out a little bit. There you go. Oh, no, come on. Come on, then. What you got? All right. I should be making use of my uh, my spectral tears a lot more than I am right now. Because uh, they let me do stuff like shoot over rocks and attack enemies who would otherwise be unattackable. Um, and I should be taking advantage of that because it is very helpful to be able to do that. Like, I shouldn't have come over here at all. I should have just shot these guys over the rocks. <laughs> I've also got really wicked range, actually. Um, I wonder why that is. I got a range down pill earlier, not a range up pill. Um, there we go. All right, cool. Nah. I need to be able to fly to get that key. Or I need to get the ladder. Um, the ladder is an item that uh, lets you bridge one gap, like in Zelda. Uh, ah, fuck. Damn it. Okay. That's what I mean by it's a slow death. Like, in Nuclear Throne, damage like that would have killed me. Here it, uh... It's just a minor inconvenience. A temporary setback, if you will. 99 bombs! Pyro! Sweet. Um... Pyro's a cool item. It gives me 99 bombs, that's all it does. Uh, that gave me enough money to go to the shop, too. 
Oh, I don't have any more keys. Blast. Alright, that's fine. Um, you obviously need keys to open up the locked doors. Uh, I don't... I don't think that one bears a lot of explanation. How do I how do I make the map bigger? There we go. Okay. It is back. Mega Maw. Oh, this is a small room. Uh this makes me uncomfortable. Oh, oh, this isn't good. Oh, okay, okay, easy does. Oh. Get go. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Alright. Oh, okay. There's gonna be a lot of swearing during this playthrough, I bet. Ah, damn it. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Uh, th when I this game's not gonna be very family friendly. Uh, if you're watching at home and weren't expecting that, I'm sorry. Uh, it's very stressful. What did I get? I got a uh, speed ball. Speed ball makes you faster and it makes you attack faster. I think. Um, it's a good item. I think. I like it. Um, I think it makes your shots go faster, which does weird stuff for like knocking the enemies around, but. I don't mind, because I'm able to factor that in when I do stuff, because of the n amount of weird physics games I play, like Rocket League and crap. Um, I'm also th I also throw a lot of grenades when I play stuff like Halo. <laughs> like I throw a lot of grenades. It's my main mode of main method, oper modus operandi. I don't remember how to say that. I think modus operandi is actually correct. I think that's how you say that. We'll use some bombs. Bombs, bombs, bombs. I got 99 of them, I might as well. I don't think there's a situation where I'll end up using all of those. Yeah, I think running out's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, not so bad. Ooh, keys! Nice. Alright, I can go to the shop now, which is super good. Uh, I don't know why I'm still exploring. Uh, that bad trip pill turned into full health, which is good. I like that. I like full health. I like not being almost dead. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, in here, we have uh, plunger. Tear detonator. Remote tear detonator. What does that do? That's interesting. Um, it makes my tears explode. This this could be fun, I guess. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of new items. I didn't have an active item anyway, so it's probably probably in my interest to take it regardless. Like it can't it's not hurting me when I pick it up, so I might as well I might as well take it. Oh, please please for the love of God and all that is holy, go away. Oh, okay. Cool. Stay away from the TNT so it can't kill you on accident. All right, there we go. All is well. Oh. All right, not not so bad. So far, so good. Um, a lot of this commentary is going to be me just rambling while I try to muster up the courage to beat the video game. Uh, I need to get some better items. I think that's the thing that's holding me back right now. Is that my the items I have gotten so far are are not bad, but they're definitely not good. Uh, I haven't gotten anything that makes me like extra damage or anything like that, and I've been sucking up a storm as far as like getting hit goes so I haven't gotten any deals with the devil um which is bad uh deals with the devil allow you to get like super duper good items like stuff like uh brimstone which turns your tears into a giant blood laser um stuff like like the pentagram which gives you a, a butt ton of damage um like there are there are good items in the deal with the devil to the point where like I'm I know about all of them. Like, I think I have most of them memorized because of they're all really good. Oh, ah, fudge. What is that? Puplia duplex. Pupula duplex? Wide tears. All right. I mean, I got, like, little boomerang tears now. I guess that's useful. I don't... <laughs> I guess that'd be useful with stuff like, uh, like brimstone. Make my brimstone laser super huge. I should probably be using the, uh, the tear detonator more than I am. Uh, is there? I gotta go up. Up, please. Thank you. First floor. Tears and, tears and explosive boomerang shots. Fuck. Ah, damn. Okay, go. So far, so far so bad. Uh, this floor's not going very well. Um... I expect that will be a common occurrence at, over the course of this. 
Um, I probably shouldn't have used my tier detonator there, honestly. Mostly because uh, it didn't do... I don't get a recharge of it on a room that doesn't have bad guys in it. So, like, it didn't come back up immediately, so I didn't have it for this room. Um, and I didn't really need to do it there. There was no rush to destroy those TNT canisters at all. Uh, come on. Come on. There you go. Well, you know what the you know what the tear detonator would be good with is uh, an item called soy milk that makes you shoot like super fast machine gun tears, because then there would be lots of tears on screen when I detonated them. That could be interesting. Uh, please, yes. Okay, cool. That that fixed up my life a little bit more than it normally does. Oh, look at the little Gertie's all mega fatty. Mega fatty's got a lot of HP if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna take a while. Ow! Up! Oh, I'm thinking I'm gonna die. Um, I think I'm gonna die. There, there's no way around this one. I don't think. I think this is my this is my doom. Mega Fatty is my demise. Right, just keep it up, little Gertie Junior. Alright, you got it. We got it. Nope, nope, nope. No, we don't got it. Uh, little Gertie. Uh, please. Okay, okay, okay. Easy does it. I think we might actually survive this boss fight, but I don't see a good perspe or prospects for our future in this world. What is that? Crack jacks. Don't swallow the prize. Uh, the tick's a, the tick's a really good item. Well, yeah, I'm gonna take the tick. Uh, so the tick, what this does is every time we enter a boss fight, the boss starts with, like, severely reduced HP. The downside is that I can't drop the tick at any time. Like, uh, the tick is permanent. It's, I have it forever. Um, which isn't good, because there are lots of very good trinkets in the game, which is what that, the tick occupies, I guess. Which is why it sucks that I can't drop it. Um, that being said, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a good item, it just sucks that I can't pick up any other trinkets, but the only other trinket I'd really want would be something like a demon horn, which increases your damage while you're holding it, um, and that item's kind of rare, and I'm not getting deals with the devil, so it's, the odds of it showing up are dramatically reduced, I guess is the best way to put that. Oh, this black leech is freaking me out. Everything's freaking me out, man. I'm telling you what. Uh, did I get the item room on this floor? I did. This is a shop. What the fuck is that? I want that. Give me that. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Um, I can blow that guy up, I guess. Nope, just spiders. Okay. Sometimes when you blow up those uh, shopkeeping guys, they have money inside of them. Which can be useful. But uh, that was not the case this time. So we're gonna leave. This floor is done, though. Uh, we've been going for we've been going pretty steady. We're holding on, which is good, I guess. If you wanna if you wanna get if you're into that kind of thing. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know what that is, but it, it's scaring me. It's it's too happy. Kill it, kill it. Bombs, bombs are bombs are terrible. I I would prefer money. If you could give me money, all the money in the whole world, that'd be that'd be spectacular. That'd be spooktacular. It's Halloween, by the way, when I'm recording this. Well, I guess yesterday was Halloween. It's November 1st now. Um, which is which is fun. I uh, I appreciate... I appreciate that it's November 1st. I think it's Sunday. I think it's Sunday. I, uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I should probably, probably check that. Oh, okay, this is going to be rough. Let's just bomb bombs. bombs. Bombs for everyone. There you go. You get a bomb. And you get a bomb. There you go. Take it. There. Bombs. Bombs for everyone. We'll just use bombs. Judicious use of bombs. Just, just drop them. Drop them all over the place. <laughs> I don't... Uh, uh, I really need more damage. Like, severely. Taking like eight or nine tiers to kill something is... Is, is too many. Too many tiers. Justice. That's a good one. Uh, Justice is a good card. 
this guy, this guy's dead. Uh, uh, get away from me. No, ow. Ow, I wasn't aware that you shot tears. Alright. Uh, Ivan, these guys suck. So when these guys die, they don't die. They just turn into goo piles, which is shitty. Um, and then you have to, like, kill them while they're a goo pile, or they don't stay dead. Which is, you know, obviously terrible. Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. I died. Alright, uh, that sucks. There's a seed for everyone who wants to take a crack at that terrible run. Um, so yeah, with that, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, let me know. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. You know, it helps me helps me a great deal. Let's me know that you guys are watching. Let's me know that you like what I'm making. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.